Hi friends, welcome to Blue Sapphire, it's Isabel here. Welcome back if you visited me before and welcome if this is your first time. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I was watching a video last night that was a response a little bit to the cliché tarot reader tag that's been going round. And, but it was also a little bit a kind of tongue-in-cheek response and it was Katie Flowers, Katie Flowers Tarot who did um, a video about kind of your um, you know you the way people the way people unbox decks and I realized that I have totally become that stereotypical deck unboxer um, of tarot and other decks on YouTube um, and I realized as well that when I'm looking at YouTube so um, I started really following um, the YouTube tarot and other videos really in the first British lockdown for coronavirus in 2020 um, I started finding out more about kind of my alternative spirituality and um, crystals and that kind of thing and I was researching to get my first tarot deck as the ones I'd seen I wasn't happy with and I felt like I knew there were lots out there um, anyway I digress but um, so I started looking um, and that's when I started getting kind of watching the videos um, I only really started making my own videos a few months ago I like telling people about things I like sharing things I like helping people um, so it seemed kind of a natural progression to want to share the decks I was getting to share my thoughts about them however the last few weeks I've got quite a few decks in um, it just happens that several Kickstarters and pre-orders have all come at once and yesterday I filmed some um, deck walkthrough unboxings and I haven't uploaded them and then I saw this um, video that Katie had made and became aware that actually when I'm looking at YouTube I actually prefer those videos myself where people are talking about the decks they're using, why they're using them, how they're using them, what's drawn them to a deck, um, their spiritual journey. I was listening to um, Longman Tarot, you talk about sort of um, visiting Stone Circles the other day and revisiting some of his videos. I've been listening to one that Tarot Map did this morning about sort of a pilgrimage she'd done and I realised that with the walkthroughs although they're fantastic and that's fine that people do them actually what I tend to do with those is I might flick to them to see if it's a deck I want to get but I won't watch them all the way through especially if it's one that I've ordered anyway I also realize that I'm tending to get decks that other people are getting so I recently got in um, Tower of the Abyss now I have already seen several people put videos up about that um transient light and trinity were the two that i recorded yesterday and i began to realize that actually this wasn't what i wanted to deliver so but i do want to do some youtube videos so i'm figuring that i'm going to try some different things some different ways of using youtube and sort of using it to help me develop my practice not just because it's there and because it feel like I ought to so I'd kind of appreciate people's thoughts on that I'd appreciate knowing what people think about you know the videos they like to watch the videos that appeal to people one of the things I'm thinking of doing is perhaps sharing instead of walkthroughs and instead of um unboxings what I thought I might do is record some um, deck interviews online I don't know what people think of that but um I wanted to 
um, interview each of my decks, which I know some people do, um, before I started working with them. And I have done a few um, and I figured I might share my process of interviewing. There are different deck interview spreads. I printed a couple off online, so um, I've used a couple of different ones with slightly different wording but the basic principle being a kind of the that by doing a spread that gets the deck to tell me a little bit about what it's like what its strengths and limits are and then how it's going to work with me basically um and i thought that might be a nice way to actually share the deck rather than just doing a walkthrough that you know i can talk about how it's show it how it's shuffling that sort of things would go along so I figure that's something I want to do. Um, so I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try recording some of them. As I say, I perhaps will record videos of the ones I've already done um, so you can see them. Um, and also it would be a good way for people if they want to share with me their thoughts on particular cards or what they think about how they're working. It would be a good way for me to learn. Just also to put you in the picture, um, I am not at a stage where I can just spout off um a description or a meaning or from cards up front um i am developing my intuition um and when reading cards so one of the things i do sometimes is perhaps note down my initial reaction i also will then use the guidebook to see what the creator had put into the card because i actually think that when they've gone to the trouble of doing that there's often a reason for it and i think that's that to me that's good and then i use resources so um here are some of the things that i'll be using so um i have got incense going nearby but i can't have it too close because i get headaches very easily um one of the things i asked for for christmas is i got some tincture bells because i absolutely love the idea of using sound i'm a musician i'm a singer when i get the chance not professionally just hobby wise so for me sound and music is a really emotive thing so i have these tin shabelles um which i can use i might use before i do my deck interview um as i say i've got a couple of different spreads i've got um a notebook that i started off using this was a book i absolutely love this quote when it look, rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars and that's totally what i do we were camping recently as a digression and um it was always looking for the stars um so this was one i started months ago but i've got a couple of um spreads that i've taken off online apologies if you recognize these as yours i cannot remember where i got them from um, so I'm sorry I won't be able to reference them but if you just do Pinterest or um, Instagram places like that um, and then this I was using as I say this is a notebook I was using for spreads I was also using it for some study I was doing um, what I found is that I can't always keep up with things so for example I was doing um, a June self-love and I did that for five days I was doing a monthly tally in January and I think there's about three days on that so I've realized that putting pressure on myself is not a good thing so um, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I will probably use things like the tincture for cleansing I'm gonna use and apologies if I've said that wrong um, I'm gonna use my notebook to record it in different ways um, it might be neat <laughs> it might not dependent i'm also going to use some of the books so some of the resources that i currently have i have the tarot bible although i find this is very kind of factual i also have been reading um you'll see i've kind of not got a particularly long way through i was reading the mystical origins of the tarot this i got as a bargain for a couple of quid on ebay i was absolutely made up and um, this is really interesting this was my first tarot book i got when i started wanting to learn um it's the tina gong so she's this is based on the labyrinthos tarot website and app and i really like the way this is set out obviously it reflects their cards um but this is i like they have an interpretation reflection and action so this is a really nice book um if you're in the uk i think you can get it for like you, I got this one, I think, from the works for a tanner. Um, and I think in a, there is a different version with the deck 
in the States. So those are some of my resources. I also have um, the pictorial key to the tarot, but I don't, well, I was using that for study. So one of the other things that I started doing was a study book of the individual cards to learn, which again, I'm about three cards in. Um, so this came with the universal weight. So I use that, but when I'm doing the, the spreads, I don't tend to use these guys um, as much because I don't find that they're as helpful for the intuition. They tell me kind of the, the, the traditional symbolism, but they don't tend to help me think about the reflection. I have got a massive basket beside me that I'm reaching down to. And in it, I also have the 78 degrees of wisdom. I have another tarot book. I have, as I say, two more journals that I was using for different things. And I have some other books. Absolute nightmare. My husband goes bonkers with me because I seem to skip and hop from different ones. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I am so good at rambling videos. Um, so I think that's something I'm going to do. As I say, if you fancy commenting on what you think, what you, I'd love to hear what people like to watch um, and whether, you know, there's anything I could do. Um, I'm not going to do card readings for people. I'm not at that point. I'm not going to do um, necessarily do card draws. I might do some odd daily card draws with a bit of music and see. I have to snatch time when I can get it when the house is quiet so that makes it difficult but if you've got any thoughts and ideas on um, my plans then do let me know um, otherwise I shall see you in my next video thanks so to put you in the picture um, I am not at a stage where I can just spout off um, a description or a meaning or from cards up front um i am developing my intuition um and when reading cards so one of the things i do sometimes is perhaps note down my initial reaction i also will then use the guidebook to see what the creator had put into the card because i am um, here are some of the things that i'll be using so um i have got incense going nearby but i can't have it too close because i get headaches very easily um, one of the things I asked for for Christmas is I got some tincture bells because I absolutely love the idea of using sound. I'm a musician, I'm a singer when I get the chance, not professionally, just hobby wise. So for me, sound and music is a really emotive thing. So I have these tincture bells, um, which I can use, I might use before I do my deck interview. Um, as I say, I've got a couple of different spreads. I've got um, a notebook that I started off using. This was a book, I absolutely love this quote. When it look, rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. And that's totally what I do. We were camping recently as a digression and um, it was always looking for the stars. Um, so this was one I started months ago, but I've got a couple of um, spreads that I've taken off online apologies if you recognize these as yours i cannot remember where i got them from um so i'm sorry i won't be able to reference them but if you just do pinterest or um instagram places like that um and then this i was using as i say this is a notebook i was using for spreads i was also using it for some study i was doing um what i found is that i can't always keep up with things so for example i was doing um a june self-love and i did that for five days i was doing a monthly tally in january and i think there's about three days on that so i've realized that putting pressure on myself is not a good thing so um yeah so what i'm going to do is i will probably use things like the tincture for cleansing i'm going to use and apologies if i've said that wrong um i'm going to use my notebook to record it in different ways um it might be neat, <laughs> it might not, dependent. I'm also going to use some of the books. So some of the resources that I currently have, I have the Tarot Bible, although I find this is very kind of factual. I also have been reading, um, you'll see I've kind of not got a particularly long way through. I was reading The Mystical Origins of the Tarot. This I got as a bargain for a couple of quid on eBay. I was absolutely made up. And um, this is really interesting. 
this was my first harrow book i got when i started wanting to learn um it's the tina gong so she's this is based on the labyrinthos tarot website and app and i really like the way this is set out obviously it reflects their cards um but this is i like they have an interpretation reflection and action so this is a really nice book um if you're in the uk i think you can get it for like you, I got this one, I think, from the works for a tanner. Um, and I think in a, there is a different version with the deck in the States. So those are some of my resources. I also have um, the pictorial key to the tarot. But I don't... Well, I was using that for study. So one of the other things that I started doing was a study book of the individual cards to learn. Which, again, I'm about three cards in. Um so this came with the universal weight so i use that but when i'm doing the, the spreads i don't tend to use these guys um, as much because i don't find that they're as helpful for the intuition they tell me kind of the the, the traditional symbolism but they don't tend to help me think about the reflection i think that's something i'm going to do as i say if you fancy commenting on what you think what you i'd love to hear what people like to watch um and whether you know there's anything i could do um i'm not going to do card readings for people i'm not at that point i'm but if you've got any thoughts and ideas on um my plans then do let me know um otherwise i shall see you in my next video thanks